uh, his prayer little bit spread. So let's get back to it. Now, when you're setting up your ancestor altar, a lot of people are lucky to be outside. The outside, you know, if, if you're in a place that is hot all the time, then you can set it up outside. But a lot of times we have, you don't even realize it, family, we have altars in our house already. A lot of people have a designated place where they put pictures of their ancestors who have who have transitioned. Hey, cuz, how about you, Nedra? No, all is well. So, what you want to do is a lot of time again, a lot of people don't realize they have altars already set up. They'll say, Oh, this one died, this one died, and they don't realize it's a type of an altar. Okay, now, even church, even Christian people, right? Right? Someone on YouTube, now you're asking a question, Christian people, yes, they do, they have altars too. But the importance of reverencing and paying homage to ancestors in 2022 is the fact that people are waking up. Everybody's waking up. Everybody wants to know. They have questions. You know, we go, we go out. We see people. A lot of people, new people, are calling us. Oh, well, you know, who's my God? Who's that God? Am I supposed to be worshiping this God? Am I supposed to be an African American? You know what I mean? There's so many questions people have, and a lot of people are coming out of the churches. If you don't believe me, go Google it. They're saying a hundred, last year, I think it was a couple of years ago, I reported this, but a couple of years ago, they were saying like hundreds and thousands of people were coming out of the Catholic churches, right? Now, they got a lot of, there's an article, and you can Google this too, a lot of Africans in America, especially the women, are coming out of church and coming back to the African traditions. Google that too. And a lot of people think these things are bad, but they don't they have to get an understanding of them. You understand? Basically, being indigenous, working with the elements, air, water, earth, fire, there's nothing wrong with that because nature provides everything that we need to sustain life. So understand this year, the energy okay. and it's very important that we all begin to start reverencing and paying homage to our ancestors because they are calling us and they are calling us because the ancestors are also responsible for downloading information into the DNA okay and if you want it you want it you can set it up because you should always make sure it looks nice and pretty I've seen some real nice elaborate ones people had on um different you know when you go google and people got all kind of like a whole special you know nice ones okay but you should you know set it up real nice if you can't get your ancestral pictures this is the number one question we get oh i can't get a picture of my great grandmother my mother blah, 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 whatever if you can then you can make a nice collage what i did for the ones that i didn't have i put their names on there and framed it you know what i mean Put nice picture, whatever you want to do, decorate, fix it up nice, put their name in there, and then you could just have that, okay? So what you want to do is get a place that's kind of private, you know what I mean? Um, people are nosy sometimes, mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe in your closet or in a designated spot in your living room or somewhere where it's not going to be mess with and maybe where people are not going to be asking too many questions okay you want to get pictures of your this is for the maternal side you're going to do the same thing for the paternal try to get pictures of your ancestors do not put any pictures on there of anybody that's still alive okay so that, so that also mean if, if a person passed but they're in a picture with somebody that's living you're gonna to have to cut that person is living you're gonna out. have to cut that picture out yeah or like setting up your um uh, your, excuse me your ancestor shrine outside like i said you can write their names or rocks or leaves you can make a nice little altar for them by the base of a tree pick a tree that you like that you have no problem going to preferably a lot of times people do it in their backyards or close to the home okay so the key to really communicating with your ancestors outside because when you're using the candle okay let me tell you this the candle the reason you're lighting the candle is to communicate with them through the fire it's an element the water is an element their energy so you got water you and that's another thing family you can okay let me get down to the nitty-gritty 
Let me tell y'all. So we do ancestral worship. Um, we do ancestral um, initiations. Now, we go to the graveyard. We get five rocks, one of them being big. We put them on the altars inside the home. You can do the same thing outside, okay? But you got to go to the graveyard to get the rocks. And it should be preferably one that your, your, your parent is at, grandparent is at. If you can't find one, anyone is fine. Now, you could put them on your altar because you want to have all the elements on your altar. Air, water, fire. The candle, you, when you talk to your ancestors, you're going to communicate through the fire, okay? Through the fire. So you'll light that candle. The water, you can put it there. You can actually spit it on your altar, spray it on your altar, and offer it to your ancestors that way too. Or you can just leave it there. But always change your water. Very important, your ancestors have clean water. Let's go back outside to the shrine. To the shrine outside, you can put the rocks with the names on it. As many ancestors as you want. Flower, you can put rocks, flowers, whatever. And that should be where you're going to offer your ancestors. But when you go to that spot and you call upon your ancestors, okay, you're going to call through your maternal side. Remember I told you, it was very important. Call through the maternal side. So if you're calling this, say, your mother Stacy, your grandmother's Jan, and both of them die, the transition, you're going to say, I'm calling on my ancestors. I'm here to pay homage. I'm calling through my mother, Stacy, and my grandmother, Jan. You know what I mean? I'm loud because that's how I do it outside. So that's how you're going to call. You're going to always call through your maternal side. <laughs> you loud because that's how you always do your spiritual work. Well, that's what I just yeah. said. I'm like, well, yeah, because when I'm outside, I want, I want, I just want them to feel the vibration through my feet to the earth. You know what I'm saying? So when you're outside, you want to be loud. No, I'm, I'm calling on my ancestors. I'm calling on my, uh, the Stacy. I'm calling through Stacy, <laughs> and I'm calling through Jan. And ancestors, can you write? No, you want them to feel the vibrations. Now I'm gonna give y'all another tip. When you're calling on your ancestors, you need to put pepper under your tongue. This is something that's done in Africa. In many tribes, some not others. But pepper under your tongue. You get guinea pepper, you know, alligator pepper, you put it under your tongue. And then you call your ancestors. I'm calling on the ancestors to rise up. I'm paying homage to my ancestors. I'm asking my ancestors to rise. I'm calling through my mother, Barbara. I'm calling through my mother, my grandmother, Eleanor. And I'm asking that you surround me. I'm asking that you protect my family. I'm asking that you, and that's how you want to call upon your ancestors. And if you have problems, let me tell you something. The ancestors are going to be there for you. Your ancestors are going to be, you tell them, I can't deal with this. Ancestors, take it off. And guess what? They're going to come running. And they're going to bring ancestors upon ancestors upon ancestors to surround you. Trust me when I tell you, if you don't believe me, try it. I can't deal with this. It's too much. And then they'll start snatching things out of your life. Snatching people that don't belong there. Mm -hmm. Snatching negative energy from around you. Yeah. Okay? So that's how you want to do it. And remember, guinea pepper, hot pepper. You can use black pepper if you want to. But you should put pepper because it helps you to communicate with them clearly when you're outside and you're doing it outside by a tree, okay? Mama, who